is going on? This is Altona, and today I actually wanted to clear up some misunderstanding when it comes to the Holy Stone Remote ID module. So yes, this is the Holy Stone Remote ID module. It was sent out to me to try out. So first is, this guy does have a declaration of compliance from the FAA, which means that this is an approved module to be used to comply with remote ID in the US. The second thing is, even though this guy is made for use with Holy Stone drones, it can also be used with many other drones and aircraft that happen to be above 249 grams from different brands so that you can remain compliant as you're flying recreationally here in the US. Now the setup is super easy. It does come with an app so that you can add some additional information outside of that which is required from the FAA to be broadcast by the module. And your ability to be able to verify that information being broadcast can be a little bit difficult depending on the app that you're using as well as the device that you're using for being able to pick up the transmission from these modules, whether that be Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. And the last thing I wanted to share with you on it, of course, is it requires about an hour and a half to charge up and it has a built-in battery that give you about five hours of transmission time. So you can basically use it for an entire day on a charge. But if you are out and you're flying pretty regularly for two to three hours, you may want to go ahead and put it on a charger when you have an opportunity to make sure that it is broadcasting the entire time that you're flying. So that's what I wanted to share with you regarding this remote ID module, just to clear up a little confusion that might be out there. I think it's a fantastic option in order for you to comply with the remote ID requirement here in the US. Thanks so much for stopping by. Again, hope this helped you in some way. Have an absolutely fantastic day.